I'm here at Little Prince Nursery today with Fran Hopkins, who's the CEO of Underfoot. Correct. Now, you came up with a great idea. What was it? Right. They're steppables. They're plants you can walk on. And and so, really, it's it's all of these plants that we've known for a long time, but you've, you've really marketed them as something that are sturdy, great ground covers for different levels of traffic use. Exactly. Uh, light foot traffic, moderate foot traffic, and heavy foot traffic, depending on what uh, kind of area that you need, stepping stones, patios, lawn substitution. We have 140 different varieties of those plants. Wow. Well, now, you know, anybody who lives in the Northwest knows that it's been hot lately. Right. Today, we're really going to look at plants that are specifically hot, full sun steppables. Right. And you can tell that, you know, we're in a very, very hot greenhouse right now. And the plants that will do best are what the growers grow in their hot greenhouses. Yeah, that, that would make sense. Right. Now, this is beautiful over here. What, which kind this is, is this? This is Raulia australis. So it seems this, very dense. This is this is about as dense as they get. So this is a heavy foot traffic plant, and we'll take um, full sun, lots of drainage, leave it alone, don't look at it, mm -hmm. and it'll live. <laughs> it'll live very well for you. Well, now you even have one that's blooming a right, little bit. Right, and this will give you an idea. Here's the bloom right here, and then this will give you an idea of exactly what it looks like when it's in your landscape. It just grows and it roots off of each node. It's a lovely creeper and a very durable plant. Now this one seems a bit more less dense, I should say, more sparse right. almost. Right, this would be for a moderate, moderate foot traffic. Mm -hmm. So um, this one's going to take, again, full sun. It's another uh, of one of our sedums. We have eight sedums in the program. And this one will get white flowers to it. It'll take full sun, and it'll also take partial shade. Really? Yeah. Wow, so it's a little it, bit more versatile. It really goes versatile. Now, this this one almost has a pink hue. Am I am I going the, to assume that it's heat that it, does this? It, it is. And this is called sedum hispanicum purple form. And generally, it'll have a very, very hot uh, purple tone to it. And in the wintertime, it takes on its purple tone. In the summertime, it'll turn a little more pink. Really? So, so you, both, both seasons will right, give you Right, and, and it's a light foot traffic plant. This isn't something to put next to your mailbox, but it's certainly something to put in your rock garden when you have to go back and forth every now and then. Sure, it's absolutely lovely. Earlier, we were talking about this is the same plant, but really different coloration going right. on. Right. This is a newer plant. So this is what it's going to look like in spring with the light green growth to it. And then this one here is what it's going to look like in the summertime when it's when it has as most intense heat. Yeah. Also in the wintertime when it's the most intense cold. Again, much like the other one here, you get both both extreme yeah. seasons will give yeah. you something and different. And you don't really grow this one for the flower. This is a white flower here. And it's, you know, it's okay, but that's not what you grow it for. You grow it for the color and the texture. Wow. They're, they're really amazing. That I love the coloration of them. Now, do all of these need the same requirements? Do some need good drainage? Some need, I mean, are there all different All of the things? steppables grow best in great drainage soil. Okay. So, so it's always nice to add some sand, some gravel, something to really loosen up the soil mix. If you want to put in a regular soil, that's really great, but add something into it to keep that drainage from... A little sand, something like that. Anything will just work just great. But our clay soil, as it is, these will work really great in clay during the summer, and that water will really hold the plants so that way they drown. So you want to get that soil loose and aerated so that way the plants will drain well. That's amazing. Well, you know, thank you so much for your time. It is, it is quite warm in here. <laughs> you know, if you have any other questions on steppables or any kind of ground covers, you can go to any of your independent garden centers, and I'm sure their staffs will be happy to help you. Wonderful selections here. Thanks again, Fran. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll go out and get some lemonade and stand out go. in the shade for a while. <laughs> Great.